Hey y'all. So as you saw, I only lost 0.6 pounds in two weeks. Now, I'll be honest, uh, my initial reaction was disappointment, even though it's a loss, but it was such a minimal minimal loss that I felt like it's I've hit a plateau where it stayed the same for two weeks. I was hoping for two pounds off because that's what I, um, on average I've been having or getting. But um, I always talk to other people who are going through a weight loss process to not just stare at the scale, you know, feel how your clothes fit, don't get discouraged when you do hit a plateau in numbers. Numbers do not equal weight loss, you know, like, or, I mean, weight loss is not about the numbers. It's about essentially fat loss and molding your body into better, you know, stuff. And your weight, I think our weight is like, I don't know how much, could it be 60% water or something like that? Like, just the a disbalance in water and in carbs and stuff so I'm trying to like kind of remember to practice what I preach to people and not get super discouraged but actually be happy that I haven't gained it was a small loss and Berto told me that remember like what would you say to a person that was in your shoes right now like weight loss and only lost a little bit almost stayed the same for the two weeks like what would you tell them and I always tell people like it's not the numbers and even if if this is your true weight which I don't know I feel like so yesterday we went to Berto's parents and um, I did splurge with a little bit of potato salad that mostly didn't have potato eggs and mayo and stuff but a little bit of potato and a big as um, elote and a little bit of brisket so I don't know maybe maybe this is my true way maybe it isn't I kind of feel like I want to weigh myself again tomorrow or the next day so just to see if it was my true weight or if, if my true weight is a little bit lower but just in case it is my true weight my whole point is this happens and yes I've been doing really good the past two weeks I've been actually eating low carb low carb not like no fruits um, limiting my carbs, calculating them on like on a rough basis, kind of like doing like a, almost like a lazy keto where I actually do have fats. Um, now I did have a couple cheat days. One was when my Finnish friend came over and um, I've been eating kind of like meat heavy. I had chicken wings, I had I've had chicken wings a lot and I've had like rotisserie chicken and stuff so who knows but I did feel like the past two weeks I've been doing really well with my diet and I have felt like I'm getting slimmer not like significantly but you know how you feel your body every day and somehow you just kind of start feeling it slimming down just a little tiny bit and my, my clothes fit better so one thing I noticed earlier when I've done weight loss is that the weight doesn't weight on the scale doesn't immediately follow your fat loss so it could be that you know and I so my whole point was I always preach to people don't stare at the numbers because you losing two pounds in in uh, one day say let's let's say I lost two pounds in one day that's not you losing fat, that's you losing mostly water, sometimes even muscle if you have really calorie deficited yourself, you know, like you haven't been eating enough calorie, calories and your body's like, your body naturally clings onto fat and relinquishes muscle if you don't eat enough protein or if you don't eat enough calories, which I don't think is the case in my, my situation because I do eat enough calories and I do eat a lot of protein um, so I always say like you would rather want to lose a little bit less than a little bit more but of course when you lose a lot you get really excited so that's understandable hmm. I don't know what else I would say to a person like me um, 
I used to weigh myself like maybe once every two months or so. So then you would actually see progress. Whereas now I'm doing once every two weeks and there are weeks or there are periods when like this when it's not so much. And it may seem black and white. It may seem like I didn't lose any weight and I might have not. Or it could just be a, a multitude of reasons why my weight doesn't correlate how I feel. Anyway, so what I've been doing the past two weeks, I've been doubled, doubling my heats, which is I run on the treadmill in periods. I do running for 30 seconds, standing on the edges for two seconds to get get my heart rate go up and down. Heats are actually really good for your weight loss. Um, for um, Also for um, upping your stamina. So your stamina and the basically how much you can take exercise, like how without getting so out of breath or coming back from the out of breath state, it gets oh, super super it gets better super fast with heat versus regular cardio so they actually uh recommend heats high intensity interval trainings for weight loss a lot and even for people who are training to to run and uh, that's what i've been doing so i usually did my heats in the beginning only one one heat and maybe a couple couple machines of lifting now i've just been doing double heat so i go all the way to the end of my original heat and then I it goes like kind of like this and then I just start coming down from that I just repeat it in reverse and I've been doing that every single time and uh, like I said I've been eating mainly chicken and veggies or low carb tortillas but like limiting those tortillas to I think one is six grams of net carb so two plus like whatever leftover carbs I get from veggies I've been eating a lot of eggs. We um, usually eat eggs for breakfast. Um, yeah, it's like I have had a little bit of Halo Top ice cream, but I read that there's a new uh, keto friendly ice cream in Publix. So I'm gonna put it somewhere here, what the name is, if you wanna look it up. So I don't think I'll be buying any more Halo Top. I think I'll. Because on Halo Top, you can basically eat like only a quarter of the ice cream a day. And, and to do that, you have to really limit the rest of the carbs. And I keep saying keto because that's just easier. But I kind of don't do keto. I kind of do like a low carb, like limiting all my carbs. But I don't focus on, on eating the amount of fats and stuff. Because I know keto is very strict in the sense of like you need to know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just limiting my carbs um, I guess some people call it lazy keto, where you just don't eat carbs and you eat whatever protein and meat. Um, maybe I'm not getting enough fats, you know? Maybe that would work. Maybe I should do strict keto. That's one option, too. So what do you guys think? Feel free to give me or leave me feedback. I know 0.6 loss, regardless of it being a loss, is surprisingly low. And who knows what are the real reasons behind it? Is it just me splurging too much on carbs, like yesterday on elote and stuff? Elote is a corn, by the way. Uh, or is it just just my body kind of shutting down on weight loss? That can happen too. Your body can um, kind of mess up on your weight loss. Like weight loss is not always you have a calorie deficit, so you lose weight. Sometimes your metabolism slows down for various reasons. You can have thyroid problems, which I don't think I do, but like that's just one example. You could have a hormonal Im imbalance, which again, I don't think I do, but how would I know, you know? So there's a lot of factors that go into it. And then, so my I guess in a nutshell, my point is if somebody else is going through, which I know we all are going through this point at some point in our lives when we're trying to lose weight and it kind of hits a plateau despite all your efforts, is just keep going. Keep going, reevaluate what you're doing. If you're doing great, stick to it. Maybe like tune it a little bit more and just understand that weight or this numbers on the scale are not everything that's why i think it's good that people take measurements i didn't 
I probably should, but I've never been into measurements. I would rather just try on clothes. And like I said, I feel like my clothes fit better. I um really do. I feel like I feel like my weight loss on the scale just hasn't caught up to my weight loss on my body yet, even though it's minimal, but still. So yeah. That's the update. Sorry about the rant. Berto is going to, uh, he's right now getting um, Burger King. And what that means is he's getting me a Whopper and I'm going to just take off the buns and eat it without the bun. I know it's not like healthy, but you can make it low calorie like that. You don't really need the bun even. And this is coffee with some milk powder and uh, Splenda, so sweetener. And the milk powder is basically calorie free not calorie ah uh, carb free so yeah see you later